Hey guys, today I'm here to do another book review and again this is um, a book review, sorry it's another e book um, and this book I was sent again from Netgalli and the publisher in on in relation in response uh, for an honest review and it has not, I'm receiving this book for an honest review it has no way infatuated or influenced my opinion on the book and this is Mad About the Mar Margaret Margus I don't know how the book should that by Elizabeth Essex and also I have a written review of this up on my blog but it's not published but it will be up on my blog so I thought I would film the review as well um, just in case you don't follow my blog just in case you don't follow my review so you will actually see it and I've not actually seen any reviews of this on YouTube so I thought I would put one on um, so Mad About the Mark, I can't say it this book is so when a lady takes to the road to play Robin Hood Lady Quince Winfrey has been Robin from Society's Rich Oh my god, why has it gone off? From society's rich and giving to Edinburgh's port for years. But everything changes to the day she can't resist the temptation to steal from the Marquess, Margaret of Cane, Khan. She must be on her guard against her sheriff of Nottingham. Outside it, Marquess of Cane has come back to Scotland to stop a thief, never thinking about the last. He's trying to woo, is about to give a lesson in the carnacy. He won't be able to forget. From the twisted streets of Old Racket to the hills of the Highland, Quince leads Alsada on a merry chase and finds the man she shouldn't fall for. He's the one man she can't resist. Love is even harder to resist than temptation. So I give this book a five out of five stars. So this story was a joy to read. I especially liked that I could see, not see a way that things could work out for the best between the couple. As the story developed, Quince just seemed to be getting deeper and deeper into trouble. And I could see no way that she could end not end up in prison. I love a book that isn't easy to guess how it ends. There are some wonderful light-hearted scenes that had me giggling. especially some of the things that Quince came out with. There were also some scenes that had me withholding, withholding, had me holding my mouth over with shock. A book that has light and shade is definitely a good book and makes an exciting read and I'm very much looking forward to the next book in this series and I hope it won't be too long. So that is my review about Mad About Margaret. And that is obviously this is the first book in the Highland Bride. Is it the Highland? What's it called? Highland Brides series. So let's move you from my home. So I'll just show you quickly. This on my home is my review shelf. So books I have for review of NetGalley oh, are all on here. So this is all my, where my review books are. So, and not all of just all of my review books are actually on here, off the shelf. They're just the ones I've urgently got to read, and I have a few on here what I have to review. And this is my case. So again, I'm sorry. The next few review videos are going to be review book videos. So I'm sorry about that. So bye, guys, and see you in my next video. Bye.